Alright, so I should go to you because I know you I know you know about this team. You're practically there, you know, from sun up to sundown. You're at the practice facility, you're trying to rehab. So let's talk about the four. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, that's Jensen, great. That in my mind, I was oh, like, God. in my mind, I was like, is it Tampa? Because it's I'm from here. But when, but when you're like, you're in the facility, I was like, oh, oh, I know where he's going with this now. I, I, I thought he was like making a Kyle Trask joke or something, yeah. but no. That's what I thought as well. And then he said facility. I was like, ah, I know where he's going with this. We all know so are young kiddos out here. But let's talk about your guy, your quarterback, Brock Purdy, who currently is on schedule and is heading to Jacksonville to continue his treatment, his rehab for this offseason. Oh, okay, now, his rehab. I, for whatever reason, you said headed to Jacksonville. I was like, he got traded? I No, no, no. He's headed to Jacksonville to complete I about rehab. had a heart attack there for a second. All right, I we're good. Love yeah. that. What do you mean? So right now, the way it looks, he's ahead of schedule. He's scheduled to start day one. Mm. With that being said, and training camp hasn't started yet, so we know there's some time. Well, let me ask you, with hold him on. ahead of schedule, hold, hold on. do you think that the San Francisco 49ers should finally move on from Trey Lance? <laughs> hold on. I'll, I'll get to your question in a second, Vic. I need it all on the hat. All right, we're good. Um, I thought you were trying to part. I thought you were trying to get some leverage. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I'm trying to on the – well, boys, this is my shoulder workout. Um – I have said it before. I was not that big of a fan of Trey Lance coming out of college. Oh, great. Now I got to realign. Uh, I was not that big of a fan of Trey Lance coming out of college. Um, I mean, kind of once Brock Purdy got the starting job, it was over for Lance. Even when Sam Darnold got there, I kind of thought it was still over for Lance. So, yeah. You might not be able to get much from him. Yes, you, you know, traded up for the third overall and kind of wasted that. But you've got your... Hopefully your franchise quarterback. Okay, I can stop now. Hopefully your franchise quarterback <laughs> in uh, Brock Purdy. There's really no reason. See what you can get. Maybe you can get a good, solid key piece mm -hmm. on a uh, position of need. I don't know, maybe like a wide receiver or something. But yeah, I think I think it's time to go. Sam Darnold can be a good backup. Uh, there's. Unless, again, everybody on the Niners team gets injured and Purdy and Darnold, and then you're on your third string again, there's really no reason to keep Trey Lance. Mm -hmm. Hayden, let me ask you. San Francisco, they went out their way this season to get a new rule implemented to have an mm -hmm. extra quarterback on the roster. They went out their way. They knew that they had issues. But because of all those injuries, they found their gem in the rough in Brock Purdy. So mm -hmm. let me ask you. Do you think it's time to admit a mistake in that third pick overall for Trey Lance and move on from him? Yes. Uh, uh, yes, it, it, it is. And it showed last season when Brock Purdy came in, did better than what Trey Lance was doing before he got injured, my dad, because people forgot he played terrible in the first few weeks. He did not look like the guy everyone was saying he was going to be. And something else about it, too, it's like you brought in Sam Darnold for a reason. You do not trust Trey Lance because there was talks that Trey Brock Purdy wasn't even going to be ready by week one, more or less, like for the first few, like top, like first few weeks. So it's like the Niners didn't feel confident. So there's a reason why John Lynch, why Kyle Shanahan went and got Sam Darnold because they don't trust Trey Lance because what they saw from him before he got hurt was a uh, inconsistent, terrible quarterback play from Trey Lance. And if you're the Niners, you could probably get something good, like maybe a third-round pick out of Trey Lance because you could say, oh, he has all this potential. And there will be some desperate team who's looking for a quarterback who will trade for him or a team that will take the chance to try and develop him for a year. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'd say, I yeah. Hope. I think this, that makes perfect sense. This year's the best value. Go out and get what you can get. <laughs> Manny, let me ask you because I know in the past you've yeah. defended Trey Lance. You've uh -huh. talked about that he wasn't given enough opportunity, that that injury, you know, set him back. But going forward, that that injury should be no problem to Trey Lance going forward. But when you look at, you know, the landscape in San Francisco, you take a look at that quarterback room. You already have Sam Darnold, who's a proven veteran. Again, 
not saying he's the best of quarterbacks, but he's proven that he can hold down the team for a couple of games. You have Brock Purdy, quarterback who has excelled in, in San Francisco, has broken many records in his first season and only in 10 games in that short amount of time, taking San Francisco to NFC Championship game. So let me ask you, as a defendant of Trey Lance, yeah. do you feel put your GM hat on? Who, who back those curls? I was who gonna say put. I was gonna say put on put on your lawyer cap as as the attorney's defendant. You oh, are now John. <laughs> Come on, do man. Tell me here. Move on to Trey Lance. Yeah, I, I think it's I think it's safe to say that they have to move on from Trey. Yeah. Um, I mean, I defended him only because of the fact that I like giving people second chances, and I I, I see talent there um, for sure. Uh, but oh, I mean, you poor sweet summer child! It's oh, just safe. Poor child. <laughs> it, it, it's safe to say that you know, as Brock's team, man, it, it looks like it's going to be Brock's team for you know barring any injuries or so like for you know for however long it is um i just i just you know can't say that trey lance is you know ready for the opportunity in san francisco i mean he hasn't you know i get it the whole injury thing but uh this league works like you know as obviously business so this league works so fast um to where if you get injured someone's gonna take your job you know i mean <laughs> Someone's coming for your job. It's like anything in football. Like anyone's hungry for the job. Um, it doesn't matter if you're locked in with the job. Uh, someone's going to try to come for it. Um, so you have to work and outwork them. Uh, and it just so happens to be that Brock Purdy, you know, won like about eight games uh, and then went to the mm -hmm. NFC Championship game. Uh, I'm not going to say what would happen if he, you know, played the rest of the game because everything's Four written one. for a reason. Um, everything's written for a reason. So um, now I don't know what will happen after that game. So, like, you know, I just – I can't say that this is Trey Lance's team uh, with the deep conviction. So, yes, it is time to move on from Trey. Listen, I, I agree 1,000%, but I also, you know, believe that San Francisco's in a hard place right now, especially the GM, John Lynch. You know, A – if you make that move, you have to admit your mistake. But then you have to realize that you're putting all your hopes on a quarterback that only had 10 games, a quarterback who was just injured that we don't know if he'll be the same quarterback afterwards. Yeah, we're getting reports that, you know, he's ahead of schedule. But, again, we won't know until he hits the field. And if he hits the field and isn't that same quarterback, you already made your move, and there's a second decision you're going to regret. Because the fan base, that's going to be the first thing they do. Why did you make a move to the move? But that's something that, you know. Well, that's, that's and hold on, because I, I do hear you with that, but you're also talking about Trey Lance, who played two and a half games this season before he got injured with an ACL. So, it's, you know, you've seen more from Purdy. Going back to the ACL, is Lance going to look the same? So, I mean. Oh, no, I do, I do, but this is where I'm going around to it then. But also, when you think about trying to trade Trey Lance, is you're trying to get something for him. So if you can get something in return yeah. for him, and move him to a team, which I think that there is a team out there that could use his his talents. There's two, actually. You could have him as a backup in Miami because we all know Tua isn't guaranteed to be healthy for a full season. Although they moved on to get Mike White, oh, man. Let, that, that, could be a quarterback, that could be a quarterback battle for, for backup. Another team I think that makes sense for Trey Lance, and hopefully I think this coach still has what it takes to, to bring along a quarterback, that's the Dallas Cowboys. When you look, when you look at um, Coach McCarthy, you know, that's what he was known for in Green Bay. My man, you know, yeah. you know he used to put his backup quarterbacks through the ringers. Every day, was <laughs> every day they had something to do in practice. Yep. It wasn't you sitting around getting a clipboard. You're learning every day on how to be a professional quarterback in the NFL. I think if Trey Lance gets with a team like that, where you have an established starter who may may have to be removed because of you know something that's happened in the past with Dak Prescott. He hasn't played the best. That can give yeah. Trey Lance another opportunity to start. But yeah. everything I mean, has to be yeah. move on from him. I was, was honestly gonna off. I was yeah. honestly gonna say Ravens with how many times Lamar Jackson's been injured come week twelve. Yeah. Dude, but yeah. I think if I'm not mistaken, they didn't they re up with, with Huntley? Yeah. 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 yeah, but I mean but Vic, Vic, you bring up a good point of Mike McCarthy. He made 
he made Matt Flynn trick the Seattle Seahawks yeah. into paying that man so much money. But I, I was just going to say, like, yeah, if you're like John Lynch, you have to make those tough decisions. But, I mean, when you look at the situation that Brock Purdy dealt with with the injury that he had, I mean, you don't see those often in football. I mean, it was just a, a really, really good design. Or, I mean, not design play, but uh, it was a really good move by uh, Jonathan Gannon by adding the uh, extra uh, backer uh, with Hassan Reddick. Um, you know, that's a touchy Okay, subject. Manny, we get um, it. You're an Eagles fan. Yeah, okay. So, you know, when you add that to the mix, um, yeah. it's going to be harder when, you know, you're trying to chip a or the tight end's trying to chip a backer, uh, especially, like, you know, like he's trying to hold him up when the guy is hard to, you know, to stop if he's just one-on-one with you if you're a backup tight end. Um, hold up, hold up. Unless you're built for blocking, like, some certain guys. And on that specific or just play, do like get, score? Yeah, on that or specific time. play, George Kittle couldn't get there. So, like, uh, it's just <laughs> the, the injury of that was much, like, you don't see that more than the one we're playing. Like, Lance had an ACL. Yeah, it's a bad circumstance. But one thing I hope that GMs all throughout the league, they, they take a, a lesson from Ted Lasso, and it's learn how to be a goldfish. Understand that even if you make a mistake, forget it and move on. From it. Please. Don't don't let that mistake ruin the, ne- the your future. Please. You they, move on from it, move on from it. Let it go. They could also just, because this is the same team that was like, yo, we need to have a rule. To where we can have three quarterbacks, so they could just keep all three and be like, "Listen, we prepared this time." Yeah, we're uh, ready. So you know, may, uh, maybe up. they do keep him as the backup, and then you know, in the off season, they move him on to somewhere. Well, this is the um, worst scenario for them if they do keep all three. If there's injury to all three, and all three have to play the season, you come into next season. Sell the team. Again, who's your quarterback? <laughs> do we draft the quarterback? If we draft the quarterback, who's off the team? What can we get for said player? There's a lot that goes involved, and I think that's one of the reasons why. Oh, no, I know. Yeah, trust me, I would not want to be John Lynch in this moment right now. Yeah, I um, think that's one of the reasons why. You just have to move on and, you know, rip the Band-Aid off. Yeah. Trey Lance hasn't worked out to where you want him to be. Hey, if you don't hey. see that happening in the future, then move on from him. Hold up. One place we didn't say for Trey Lance. Don't say it. Green Bay. Oh, you mother. Green Bay is another good place. He can I'm just saying, down. bro. You know what? Also, I'm not even gonna I'm not I'm not Vegas, because Jimmy Garoppolo is not guaranteed to be healthy throughout the whole season. We all know that he's not healthy now. I'm not so, I'm, there's a lot of teams that could use yeah. who could use a quarterback like Trey Lance. I don't yeah, think they got I, Aiden O'Connell. Yeah. Where's Aiden O'Connell I, in the chat? I, 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 right? I don't know. I don't know if would be so much in the picture. Is they already yeah. have a studded quarterback in Sean Clifford? That is I, true. Future QB one. Fair point. I don't think. Yeah, I was just about to say. I don't think. Uh, you know, Josh McDaniels likes Trey Lance type of quarterbacks. I, I'm. I don't think he's going to pull that move. But we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. But gentlemen, that was the end of my three questions. All right, well, do I almost broke a window? <laughs> yeah, I was going to ask what was happening with that. Um, yeah, so explain yeah, that your. Period. Explain yourself, sir. What happened? What you... with it, and I barely missed my window. I Wait. thought I heard it hit the window. It hit the what part of the window. What did you just say? I almost he... broke a window. Oh, he oh. threw something out of anger did for me mentioning Trey line? Lance to Green Bay. I was not going to get that bill, by the way, if you did end up breaking a window. I'm letting you know that right no. now. You are not sending <laughs> me no stinking bill. <laughs> that was on you being dumb. Bro, I would have had to back out from Myrtle Beach because all that money would have went to that window. <laughs> and been like, uh, hello, South Southwest. I'd like to cancel a ticket. Uh, while I'm on the phone, y'all know any window guys? 